long gone are the days where you had to reference your audio tracks by getting online buy a reference track try to download it in the best quality possible import it into your daw make it match your current uh, mix and then do a bunch of other steps just to get your referencing within your daw we're past that and i'm so glad because it's a time consuming process that kills productivity but nevertheless you still need it because referencing is one of those things that can totally help you make better mixes and that's where audio lens comes into the picture from isotope so audio lens from isotope is an external app virtually uh, listens to audio from any source and that means spotify apple music whatever you have playing on or your computer it's gonna listen to that reference and it's gonna capture that sound. What it does is that uh, you play any audio in your device and the application will collect data on key sonic characteristics um, and help you to visualize, compare, and match your favorite reference tracks and sound. Then you can save pretty much that reference. So you don't need to do it again. Uh, it's not a process that you need to repeat. Once you do it, you can uh, quickly name that reference for future use. It can match the tone, dynamics, and width profiles of the desired track to your own master. They go into explaining what referencing is, uh, which we all know what it is. If you don't know what referencing is, uh, you need to study that. <laughs> Besides that, what I have right here in front of me is on the left, audio lens this is the external app and i have it right here uh is this icon right there and these are already tracks that i've referenced and that i've saved already in the app you're not gonna have any of this but if you want my full referencing uh tracks for mixing i have a playlist on uh spotify that you can use and copy and see what you like and i'm gonna play one here i'm not gonna play the audio because youtube you know it's crazy with the audio and stuff the only thing that you need to do is go to capture and it's waiting for audio to play what you need to do pretty much is play some audio Once you hit stop, you're going to get this, uh, the new reference here, and you can name it whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to uh, use the name of the song and I'm going to save it as such. And now that I have it here, you can see the profile that it created already. So with this profile, I can go into my tracks use isotope 10 or neutron 4 and use this as a reference after 3.5 minutes uh it's gonna auto stop so after 3.5 minutes uh that's kind of the limit that it has to capture all the sound uh, i just play pretty much the intro uh to the first chorus or hook or whatever the um you know loudest part of the song pretty much and that give me a pretty much uh, complete reference you need to capture though more than eight seconds of audio for this to actually properly capture that sound unless you want to uh, capture the intro uh, of a song that i don't know it has a cool voice at the beginning you just want that reference of those vocals you just grab it for that uh, specific time and it's safe that as a reference and you can use that you know for specific tracks so let's get to uh cubase real quick here because i have a track i'm gonna jump between reference that i've already created so i'm gonna use ozone uh, 10 and I have the advanced version, uh, but you have the assistant here and the first thing I'm going to do is going to play the loudest part of the song pretty much. You have the assistant here and of course matches your audio to whatever you think it is so in this case it selected reggae <laughs> this is not a reggae but i can switch between what it has like cinematic 
for example. If your genera is not there, of course, uh, you can just go ahead and reference uh, with audio lens whatever track you want, and that's where this comes in. So you can select this um, tool right here, and now I have all the tracks I've referenced before, and now I can play with it, and I can actually grab the same essence of those songs and apply it to this instance of ozone and it's gonna grab that sound so let's say i want it to sound like uh, still dre right and it's building my own mastering chain based on that song and it's gonna change completely how it sounds now Let's say that I want to uh, give this a uh, lo-fi kind of vibe. So here's a lo-fi song. Let's see what it does with that information then. As you can see, uh, the reference for lo-fi, it's completely different. So it's removing a bunch of the high. Uh, let's select another one here and let's uh, see what that does. and you can also adjust the EQ and stabilizer here. It's just convenient to have this safe and not having to go back to your reference tracks. I'm gonna leave a link to my reference tracks for mixing on the description below. I'm always gonna be adding more tracks in the future as well. If you're not on my email list, I highly recommend you get into it. Uh, the way to get into it is just download one of my uh, freebies, uh, either my mixing template or my mastering template. I have a newsletter coming out every Friday with uh, free plugins that you can use with a bunch of other cool uh, information. And if you're a fan of the channel, of course, if you like what you see in the videos, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any other video from us. And see you in the next one.